Sometimes one of the hardest parts of getting started is being able to find videos or tutorials for things that might be second nature to people who are more seasoned than those who are just getting started. So here, I wanna show you one of my favorite features in the software, which is the offset and the pathfinder tools. Today, I'm gonna to show you the offset tools and how to make a really quick and easy keychain using the Lightburn software and my Eon Mira 9. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that your design files are ready. So I'm finishing up this custom bouquet from a terrific trio that represents a flower from each one of their birth months. The custom bouquet is going on wine tumblers, but I thought it would also make a really cute keychain. From there, I'm going to head into Lightburn and enter each person's name with the font that I choose. Then I'll import my artwork directly from Procreate. For this keychain, I'm leaving the artwork on an engraved setting, but I'm also going to have to create a small 2 millimeter size circle so that I can put keychain hardware through it. Once my artwork is laid out as I would like, I'm going to select all of the shapes and then click the Offset Shapes button over here in Lightburn. I usually play around with the offset distance to see where and how far I would like the cut to be made from the actual artwork itself. You'll want to make sure it's going in the outward direction and that you also don't delete the artwork inside your offset shape. Once you have the settings as you would like them, click OK and then you'll have a new selected layer of your offset shape. Switch that selected layer to a line so that when you're ready to cut, it'll be ready to go. But it's also grouped together, so you'll want to ungroup your artwork and then delete any gaps that you might see in between your offset shape. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is edit the bottom part of where the keychain connectors are gonna go. By editing the nodes, I'm able to move and delete some extra nodes in order to make that base a little bit more thicker since I am cutting on acrylic. I don't want it to break off when it's hanging from somebody's keychain. And just like that, I'm able to send it to the machine in order to be engraved and cut. With my acrylic pieces, I put a thin layer of Dawn dish soap on there so that the powder is easily able to be wiped off. While that's engraving though, I usually pull out my hardware that I need in order to assemble the keychain. I just use these little silver pieces from Amazon and then from Jay's Laser Supplies, I purchased these keychain thingies. The last step is assembly, but as you can see, everything went very quick and smooth and it was very easy to make keychains using that offset feature in Lightburn. Other design software like Adobe Illustrator also has this feature. These keychains are just a quick example of how I use the offset feature, but I also use it on very large signs and even to thicken letters that might need to be paint filled. So there you have it, the offset feature made easy in Lightburn. If you think that helped, then follow along and make sure that you hear my other laser tip talks and check out my YouTube channel where I can further help newbies in the laser world.